What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. We're going to be starting Luigi's Mansion 3. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a few weeks now, honestly. I feel like this is kind of becoming a regular game for me to replay once a year around spooky season. It's such a perfect vibe. It's like just like the perfect amount of just kind of like spooky but cute spooky uh, this is really like what i live for right here for when it comes to spooky season although i do really love horror but i mean like i feel like they have like two sides either really cute like this or like i've been watching it so that i can relax and go to bed at night so anyways that's unrelated but uh let's go ahead and get started i'm pumped this it looks um deceptively bright and inviting <laughs> which is kind of funny so we're gonna do just the story a brand new game um yep new game this game automatically saves all right let's go are we going oh geez <laughs> i was like uh bolter pop look at him this is another reason why i just love this game Ah, uh, it's so gorgeous. I forget, honestly, how good this game looks. I don't think we have a date yet for the <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 remake to be coming to the Switch. But I'm really excited for that. I've only... Let's see. I've only played part of... Is it, is it Dark Moon? I don't know. I've only played part of one other. On the 3DS. There's our guy. Look at how clear and smooth his skin looks. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's such a cutie. Artie's sitting behind me. He's going to be jealous <laughs> hearing me talk about another dog like this. <laughs> but he's adorable. I want a polter pup. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so yeah, it appears that um, the whole crew has been invited to this mansion, this gigantic hotel. And we're riding on Peach's personal bus. There's Mario. <laughs> I'm so excited that we're getting a game for Peach here really, really soon. Looking forward to playing that. I can't wait to see all the outfits she gets. <laughs> oh, poor Toad. They're just always so happy. Yeah, time for a nice relaxing vacation, right? <laughs> and Luigi brought the dog. That would be me. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wowie zowie. I mean, it's impressive. That's for sure. With a lake behind it and everything. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at this place. I mean, get a good look at it now. Oh, I go? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> oh yeah, they think they're in for the time of their lives, and they are, but not what they uh, not what they expected. Alter Pop, <laughs> you can walk right through him. Okay, so let's uh, mess around and um, check some things out. What are my buttons? So literally nothing. I can do nothing but walk right now. Wow, is that a swan made of ice? <laughs> Alter Pup. Playing in the gifts, I can read. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, okay. Welcome to the last resort, home of the most memorable vac vacations ever had. The last resort. Wow, they went all out. Mario? <laughs> Going straight for the strawberry cheesecake or shortcake. <laughs> Another um, icy swan, I guess that's what that is. 
Also, while we were close to Mario, did you notice the music? It's, it's Mario's jam. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wow, Peach. Talk about light pack. Hotel staff, is something the matter? I hope nothing is making your stay less than perfect. Our entire staff is devoted to providing you with the ideal vacation experience. <laughs> that little laugh at the end there. Also, did you notice that he's wearing a mask? It's not, it wasn't like immediately noticeable to me the first time I played this, but seeing it again now, wow, look at all these gifts. Wow. So much stuff. Princess Peach definitely didn't forget to pack anything. <laughs> oh no. She brought she brought the banjo even. Does Peach does Peach uh canonically play an instrument now? Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome guests to the last resort. Are you ready to check in? Uh, hold on, let me look around. Not a problem at all. Make yourself comfortable and please come to see me when you're ready. I just want to make sure that we look at everything. What, what about you? It looks like you haven't checked in yet. Please make your way to the front desk. It's right over there. And do you notice that like, well, when we're talking to him, his uh, there's nothing under his pant legs. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty funny. Well, these guys aren't very observant, obviously, because so far nobody is um, concerned in the slightest. Oh, we got to talk to Peach here in a second. We've got uh, maybe like a coffee bar here. Please make yourself comfortable. Okay. What about you? My apologies for the inconvenience, but the elevator is temporarily out of service. We should have it in tip-top shape soon. Oh, that's a bummer. Somebody's gonna have to carry all of Peach's bags up the stairs. What do you think of the hotel? We take pride in the luxury and splendor it offers. <laughs> okay, I think we've probably pretty thoroughly kind of looked around... Um, uh, let's talk to Peach, and then I think we're ready to check in. Hi. This hotel yeah. is so big, Luigi. It's gorgeously decorated, too. We're so lucky to have gotten an invitation to come here. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Um, I guess I can't go up those stairs, because all of Peach's bags are blocking the entrance. All right, let's get checked in. <gasps> Welcome. Are you ready to check in? Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Oh, our host. Yes, welcome to the last resort. My name is Helen Gravely, and I'm the owner of this hotel. I'm absolutely delighted that you decided to accept my invitation. Something about her reminds me of Corilla Deville. You all must be very tired. Come, allow me to show you to your rooms. No need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. <laughs> In the elevator that I thought wasn't working. <laughs> You're our VIPs after all. <laughs> What's with the powder? We prepared a first-rate experience for you. All the trappings of luxury. Shall we get going? I'm gonna suffocate. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Don't leave Poulter Pup! Oh. How come everybody in this game is taller than our main character, too? Floor 5. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over here. Mm -hmm. And we prepared room for you toads as well. Oh. Hope you enjoy your stay. I dare say you'll remember it for the rest of your lives. <laughs> okay. It's om ominous there. The toes, little squeaky feet. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Night night. Night night. <laughs> oh. 
Luxury rooms and everything. Wow. Look at the natural lighting. And somebody left me flowers. <laughs> um, everything is so sparkling clean. Oh, I wish I could pick that up. I guess I was born in a barn. <laughs> oh, wait. There was something else. Oh, the drawers. What's over here? Nothing in that one, okay. Sparkling clean. And then we've got, um, what is this? A little counter or something in the bathroom. Look at that complimentary uh, sh uh, house shoes, shower slippers or whatever they're called. Okay, waterworks, I'm a plumber, gotta check, right? And gotta check the toilet. <laughs> like it's working, hold your pup. Oh, look at Polterpup's already found his uh, favorite spot on the bed. <laughs> Time to rest. Yep, we're ready. I love how the chest matches his outfit, and Mario's did too. Oh, look, another outfit, just like the one he's wearing. <laughs> Flashlight. Solid. Solid uh, carry on bag there. <laughs> oh, Bolter Bob. <laughs> if only that was how it went. Also, can he just please take his shoes off? We already know that they have real feet because in Mario Odyssey, we saw Mario wearing flip flops. Disturbing. Peach! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Was the save thing? It wasn't green before, was it? I feel like it was white, if I saw one at all. Okay, now let's check. Look, everything is spooky now. <laughs> Those spooky balloons. It's so perfect. For spooky season. Wait, I mean, well, what is today? Today's, oh, is today the um, fall equinox or whatever it's called? First day of fall? I think it actually might be. Oh, that's exciting. There's a big old bird out there. So I still don't, whoa. I still don't really have any controls. Oh, gross, the rotted fish. Uh, I can just walk. Oh, I can turn a little bit, I guess. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh no. Things have really degraded fast. Shower curtain, spooky. I don't ever leave the shower curtain closed like that. Oh, and look at where there was complimentary house shoes. Now there's, whoops. Now there's skulls. Oh, there's gold in the mirror, but I can't do anything with it yet. Where's Polterpop? He didn't even wake me up to alert me. I just can't get over how good this game looks. Whoa. Oh, the whole hotel is changing. It's going from warm and inviting to old and spooky. <laughs> All of Peach's luggage. Skulls here. Gargoyle. Let's see if I can interact with anything. Nope. Oh, Mario. Oh, Black Widows. Spideys. Oh, no. Mario got pizza. Mario. I didn't get pizza. <laughs> Mario. I can't go in the bathroom. How come it sounds like there's a water leak or something in here? Oh, our first coin. Maybe it's just those sound. Oh, is this open? Um, I can't tell. I think it is. <gasps> oh, jeez. <laughs> First jump scare to get me. Uh, oh, yeah, let's check this. I have the, the whole thing about this game. <laughs> you, you basically check everything. 
I mean, or I do anyways, you don't have to. But, um... <laughs> it's kind of like a... Look at that perfectly good piece of pizza there. On the floor. I don't know, it's kind of like a compulsion almost in this game. Like, you want to try to interact with everything. These creepy gargoyles. Oh. Somebody left a mop bucket out here. Is this Peach's room, then? Oh, her room is foggy. Look at the birds! Lots of birds. Let's see what Peach has got going on in here. Some makeup stuff, maybe? She's got a couple of bags. And it looks like, what did she get? Maybe like hot tea or something? She didn't get pizza. She's got like a royal looking chair. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that laugh. Creepy. Oh! Yes! Money will be kind of important later. But we're gonna get tons of it, so. Oh, somebody's coming down. Oh boy, Luigi be brave. Oh, it's Helena Gravely. Or Helen? Was it Helen or Helena? I think it was Helen. Gravely. Such a fitting name. Well, 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 if it isn't my most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Is your room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? <laughs> oh, I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted you to accept my invitation. Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. You see, there's someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas, like inviting you here. I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful that I get to introduce you to him. You, that's right, Luigi. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Oh, I just can't with Luigi's yell. Surprise, Luigi, it's a me, King Boo. That old coot had me locked up tight in his lab. But guess what? I got out. The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me, so she busted me out. Pretty lucky, huh? Anyway, I didn't think you'd actually show up here. I was ready, though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. What do I mean by vengeance? I'm glad you asked. I'm trapping you and everyone on in your little vacation party in frames. Oh, there, there, Luigi. It'll all be over soon. It's time for a family reunion. <laughs> Booyah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Take that. Oh, and there's one more frame, of course. I saved it especially for you. Stay right there and put on your best terrified face, Luigi. This is game over. Oh, yeah, run. <laughs> oh, we're in control here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I can't. Um, all I can do is run, I think. Yeah, I can't jump or anything. Maybe Luigi can't jump. Oh, look, he's disappearing doors. Go, 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 Luigi. He's using his crown, I think. <laughs> Do it, Luigi. Do it. <laughs> I just love his yell for some reason. When this game first came out, which honestly, I'm not sure what year that was. 2018 or 19, it might say at some point on the bottom corner. Oh, look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about. Luigi's Mansion 3, nice and spooky. Anyways, when this game was coming out, I uh, I remember watching the trailer and I just thought the most hilarious thing was Luigi's yell, uh, that one where uh, King Boo like first revealed himself. I thought that was so funny for some reason. Oh, Polter Pup to the rescue! <laughs> At least we landed in the laundry basket. There's gold back there and cash.
And all I have is just a flashlight. Yeah, I can't grab. Whoa. I. Oh, we can check this. Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. That's more like it. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and I see there's gold under there, but I can't grab it just yet. Oh, jeez. Oh, check it out. There's um. Oh, there's a gem in there, which gems are gonna be really important. So basically, the collectibles in this game are. Gosh, <laughs> Walter Pup. Um, I guess they're gems and um coins, obviously, and. Um, big boo, or not big boos, but yeah, big boos, not king boos. Stop digging in the trash, you nasty. So we're kind of following Polter Pup at this point. And we're in the garage. <laughs> oh, what is that? Icky. Check that out. And Polter Pup is in here messing around. Oh, uh, by the way, um, King Boo had said something about that old man had me locked up tight. He's talking about Professor Egad, if you're not familiar with the previous Luigi's Mansion games. <laughs> Professor Egad is like the mad scientist. This is the, um, the Gust... Polter Gust? Um, I forget exactly what it's called. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But anyways, we had captured Big Boo, so I have not fully played an old um, Luigi's Mansion game, so I'm only just guessing here. But I'm assuming that Luigi had uh, previously... This is just kind of a tutorial here. Previously captured... Oh, they want me to hold the button. Anyways, Luigi must have previously captured King Boo and... Um, Professor Egad was holding on to him, and he has escaped. ZL. Okay, so we've got suction, and we've got a leaf blower, we've got a jump. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's how we jump. And then of course we have the beam. Comfortable with what you learned? Yep. A talking dog. That's what I've always wanted. Oh, don't leave me, Pulcher Pup. All right, so this is where the fun begins. Now we can start sucking up all the gold, all the rats, all the money, all the wolves. Oh yeah, it's so satisfying. Um, oh rat, woo, and yeah, also flash them first. Um, I guess there's really nothing else to do with this car. So, uh, we don't actually have all of the controls available to us just yet. So I feel like, um, there's things that we should look at that we're not going to be able to yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. So this is a, um, a little safe or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, gem. We should, no, no, we can't. Never mind. We don't have all the controls yet. So, um, I was just going to say we should go back and get that other gem, but we're not going to be able to just yet. But I'm going to, um, I really am going to get all of the gems and all of the booze this playthrough. Certain games, there's just certain games that I really like 100%ing, and this is one of them. What is this? Wow. Holy mackerel. Somebody needs to check that thing out. Oh, there's a gold bar. Did we get the gold bar? I guess. I think I sucked the rat up whole. Here's another one, two. Chest or a toolbox. And um, I don't think, yeah, I can't really do anything with any of that yet. Let's get this trash pile. I think I do see some... <laughs> back it up, back it up. I 
not going in my vacuum for some reason. Um, I think we need to exit at this point. Donut! Oh, um, oh shoot, I don't have the control where I can do anything with that just yet. I think, um... Yeah, I think our purpose is really just kind of to sort of explore at this point. Um, eventually we'll, we'll get, we'll get an objective. So here's the elevator. Oh, there's money growing on this tree. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm just like really in the spooky season mood, I guess. I put my all of my Halloween and fall decorations up uh, at home here like September 1st. So they've already been up for like three weeks. Um, so yeah, I've just been like in in the spooky season mood, I suppose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, we've got a vending machine here. <laughs> uh -huh. Unwrapped donuts. I don't even know what else is in that. Put it all in the... Uh, I'm pretty sure this thing's called a poltergust. If I remember correctly. Um, okay, so we've got a painting there, which I'm not going to be able to use just yet. But... I'll try to remember that for later. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Jackpot. Oh my gosh. And I think we got a pearl, which are worth like, I don't know, some some amount of coins, I think. Oh, more gold. Well, we're already up to 600, almost almost 700 gold here. Yeah, gold is uh it's not easy to get in this game. No, no, no. It is easy to get. <laughs> it's not hard to get, I think is what I was trying to say. Okay. Who left this mess? What do I do? Oh, I forgot. I wonder if that could have been useful um, in any situations that we've already passed. But whatever. We'll just keep going. I'm probably not going to be super crazy about getting all of the gold necessarily. And... I don't believe I can get that gem yet. I could be wrong about that though, but we'll be back. Oh yeah. Are we in the lobby? I think we're in the lobby now. Isn't this the elevator that was broken? Now can I, um... Uh, I can't get that gem out of the flower pot. But yeah, like, look at this. You can <laughs> suck up all of the cushions, all the pillows. It's just everything. It's so satisfying to just do it all. Give me that coin. And all of this garbage here. Which was a really pretty coffee bar or something yesterday morning. There's like a dollar stuck behind the frame there. Oh no, my headset's dying. Aha. Oh, the X is on the faces. Wow, that's dark. Mario? Uh. <laughs> Mario? Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our first look is a poultry pup. Bad boy. Bad dog. You nasty? Our first look at the... <laughs> the ghosties. Oh, and a boss fight. Uh, wait, go easy on me. Gotta get the controls again. <laughs> oh yeah, if you hit him... Well, I didn't quite... Didn't quite get the opportunity just then, but... If you time your hits, it has some kind of an effect. Oh, we've got more. We've got more, and um, there, there we go. So let's try this. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, see, see, I don't think I got it 
quite right there. Let me try it again. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working. But anyways, if you time when you like smack them in the floor, um, Luigi will get faster and faster and faster every time. But uh, I don't know if it just isn't working yet because nobody's told me how to do it yet or if um, if I wasn't timing it right. Okay, but I would actually kind of really like a gargoyle for, um, for my home as... Halloween decorations. Woo! Sorry, Toad. Oh. Walter Pop! Where does he want me to go? He wants me to go upstairs. Okay, well, can you just give me a minute? I want to take a look at the, um, what else I can destroy here. And there goes Peach. Oh, she had a pearl. I want to say those are worth like a hundred coins or something, maybe? Okay, let's get these other two. They, um... They prematurely X'd out Luigi's face because they didn't actually capture me. I'm kind of hoping I get a gem for doing all these. Oh, there's a big key on the wall there. In the, um... Behind the desk. Oh, and then a big gem on the wall over there. Woo! Okay, well, no gem. That's pretty unfortunate. Wow, look at all this. So, um, I'm gonna want to do this to get behind the desk. Oh, yeah. It's coming back to me. Let's clean this place out. This reminds me of that scene in The Grinch, except we're kind of doing the opposite. When The Grinch is uh, sorting the mail, when he's all like, jury duty, jury duty, black mail, black mail. Uh, I forget what else he says. <laughs> okay, and, oh wow, so many books. And binders, I guess they're not books so much as they're like probably accounting binders and paperwork and stuff. So how do I get the... Oh, I just gotta grab. Oh, yeah. And then let's go ahead and open the safe over here. Whoops. Oh. Oh, we got a gem. I'll take that. One, two, three. What are there, six in each one? On each, on each floor? Wow. Stacks of cash. Wow, we've already surpassed a thousand dollars. Maybe even two thousand here once that stops spinning. Oh yeah, over two thousand. Holy mackerel. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> um, I don't know if I remember how to get that gem. We could try the pumpkin. Oh, shoot. I sucked all the pumpkins up. Well then, I don't remember how to get that gem. But we'll be back here anyway. Oh, here's more pumpkins. Never mind. Um, and like, usually it'll kind of... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. If it was going to work, you could tell because it kind of like snaps to it. But, uh, what is this? <laughs> Somebody put... Um, firecrackers or something in there. Is there anything over here? I got a pumpkin. I don't want that. I don't know. Sometimes there's stuff like gems and stuff that you really want to be thorough and you're searching for. Those gems are not always easy to find. In fact, some of them are really well hidden. Let's get the curtains. We're, um... We're redecorating. Let's see what's behind this one. Got some cash falling from the sky over here. I want to say I remember there being a secret or something over there in that corner, but uh, I don't know. 
I know that we do have to come back to this area later, so I'm not super worried about missing stuff right now. Let's just go see what Polterpup wants. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's Egad! That's right! Okay, so this is the professor I was telling you about. If you're not familiar with uh, previous Mario, or er, Mario, Luigi's Mansion. This is Professor Egad, so... And it's even got his theme music. He's got one tooth. Um, well, let's follow Polterpup. Polterpup's gonna kind of show us the way here. I've actually been listening to the soundtrack to this game almost non-stop. Like, I would say almost daily for for weeks. Just like while I'm working or if I'm driving or whatever. It's actually really good, the soundtrack, surprisingly. It's just the perfect amount of, like, creepy. Oh, I need a key. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, oh my. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, look! Here's the mask that some of them were wearing. Oh, a big old gold bag! Woo! Wowee! Alright, let's, um... Let's go ahead and clear this place out so we can take all of their clothing items. Why is it... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they got, like, money and stuff in their pockets. Might as well. But sometimes, I mean, as you can see behind this, um, coat here, sometimes there's, like, secrets and stuff behind these. Yeah, perfect. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. Look, and see how this one is a different shape than the last one? That's because we're on a different floor. So each floor is themed, and each floor is going to have its own shape, which I love, obviously. I love things like that. Anything that's like, I don't know, got little themes and stuff to it, especially when, uh, like, different areas of the game are different. A lot like Mario Odyssey, you know, where all of the coins and stuff were themed differently, and even the moons had different colors. And then, of course, as you can see in the mirror, we've got a safe. Oh, that was cool. Woo! Oh, that's our key. Okay, wow. Great. Nice! Oh, and then we've got this chest here, which is hidden from... So I'm not going to be able to do anything with that yet. Um... Oh! Oh, whoa, they're putting up wanted posters of me! <laughs> oh, they're, they're recognizing me. Hey, guys! Uh, why don't you back up? Let's see if we can do the thing. Yeah, I think that maybe was working. Because if you don't hit it right, let's just try. Yeah, see how he's kind of slow? Yeah, okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like we should take all these down for the sake of notoriety. Not that it matters. I'm literally the only one that's alive, still walking the halls. But, um, I don't know, there might be, like, a hole behind one of these things that we need to see. Let's go check this area. Oh! Okay, so the door is blocked. Also, if you check the map, which is not here... Never mind, I don't have a map yet. Scratch that. I, we get a map eventually, I know for sure there's a map. There he is! Wait. Oh, um... Oh, that's right. This was the locked door. Thank you, Polter Pup, for the reminder. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh, gosh. Gross. Why are they all albino rats, too? Oh, look at that. It's got holes. It's like, oh, they're big ghosts. I don't think I've ever noticed that. A piggy bank? Yes. Please, Polter Pup. Scaring me. 
We'll get there in just a second. What was the hand? That was weird. All kinds of stuff up here. Just give it, give it to me. Give it all to me. I need it. Um, yeah, all right. Polter pup, let's do it. Let's do it. Ta -da. Here we go. Now this is gonna unlock some new features for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> um X. Yeah, okay, this is exactly what we needed. <laughs> oh, things got creepy. Look at the gold spider over there. Hold on now. Um Yes. Yeah, gold spiders, gold birds, those are always worth your time. Um, why'd the music get so scary? Okay, I don't think that there's really anything else over there, but we should... Ah, oh, what? How do you get back there? Oh, here it is. Spider! It would not catch me in here. With the spiders. Hmm, I feel like there should be more to this area. Maybe not. Well, now we can save Egad. Yeah, the music got super spooky. Take that poster down. Oh, more posters. Here we go. <laughs> what is with that one little patch of hair? Oh, Luigi. If it isn't Luigi, you're precisely the last person I'd expect to find here. <laughs> Hold that thought. Now isn't the time to catch up. What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here now. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's, let's make a run for it. <laughs> oh, Mario. What was that? All of your friends have been captured. And you can't just abandon them here, you say? <laughs> the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gad, have an idea. First things first, Luigi, we have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new Poltergust G00 you're wearing, you took that out of my car, right? We've got to get back to the underground garage. Let's go. Okay, Egad, follow me. <laughs> Look at the way he runs. Oh, geez. That's hilarious. I'm feeling like... Are we going to run into a boss fight or something? Luigi. Hey, Luigi. Take a look over there. Elevator. The elevator will get us to the garage in an instant. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. Hmm. Alright, let's go then. Oh! <laughs> Where are you got? That's funny. Take the posters down as we go, I guess. They don't, they really don't matter. It's really just, like I said uh, earlier, like once you start trying to like suck everything into this vacuum, you just really can't stop. Whoa. Hey Luigi, look at that. It's money and lots of it. Even with all the dangers here, I'm sure we agree that money is still important. <laughs> the ghosts don't seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you? Well, I definitely want it anyways. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know, while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends. Multitasking. <laughs> exactly. Multitasking. All right, let's get this guy down to his um, car. Uh, 
Uh, all of the... Someone has removed all the elevator buttons. What's going on here? Hmm. A mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give the B1 button a push. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on 2F with me. They must have been taken to one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means... Yeah, we're gonna need those elevator buttons. Oh. Oh, I can move. I was like, why is he staring at me? Um, yeah, let's just go straight for the garage. <laughs> oh, he gets laughing. Wow, what a rude old man. Oh, check it out. Now we can do this. Yee! Two. And we know, I know where one more is, but um, I'm not going to be able to get it yet. Oh, oh, hey, he's the, um, what do you call these guys? Like, concierge? Con I don't know how to say that word. Um, the bellboy. <laughs> oh, and Egad runs. Uh-oh. Wait, why did he do that? Boom! Jeez. Um, what do I do here? Okay, that looks like about right. Oh. Hmm. Get away from those. Got him, okay. Give him a little whiplash. <laughs> wow, eh. Um, where did he go? Oh. Nope. Got him. It's just... This game is honestly just so satisfying. Everything about it. Sucking up all this trash, all the gold, um, body slamming the ghost into the ground. <laughs> and it's so cute, too. And look at what he had. Two elevator buttons. Well, Egad, how did I do? <laughs> the victory dance. Look at that. One and five. Whoa. I already had access to floor one. Ah. Got it. Oh, ho, those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the buttons. No matter. Let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting I want to show you. Okie dokie. <laughs> Pocket them for later. What has he got? Oh my word? What is that? Oh, I thought this was for my vacuum. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> back, Luigi. With the big old satellite on top. <laughs> With a smaller satellite on top of that. I just can't get over Egad's one little tooth. Luigi cannot believe his eyes. Okay, and now the music's all happy. This is a safe space now. Yeah, wowie. He's got a little mobile lab. Welcome to my lab. This is another of my brilliant inventions, a portable laboratory. It's sturdy, safe, and air-conditioned. I always knew I'd need this one day. Good thing I brought it along with me, right? Sure. You want to know what I'm doing in this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was tricked. I got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. 
No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass up on such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection. That includes all those ghosts you worked so hard to catch for me before. Even King Boo. Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. Yeah, we met him. What? They released King Boo? Oh, the hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you're our only hope against all odds. Without any hesitation and at any cost, get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you've captured so far? Just dump them all in. All right, keep on catching those ghosts and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set up the gallery so that you can view the ghosts you've captured. Wow. The gallery actually is kind of cool. Just to see what all you've captured. What's with the look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Huh? Yeah, my friends. Oh, that's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you'll need to explore the hotel. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. I call it the Virtual Boo, VB for short. This is like our cell phone. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen, really cutting-edge stuff, and the red is all the rage, you know? Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this, it'll fly off the shelves. You can use the VB to communicate with me anytime, and maybe we can test out the communication system later. Press the plus button to look into the VB. It'll display your current objective. And this is also where you get the map. Uh, one more thing. What is that? This is, You need to install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me. As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on ahead and get it installed. Head, head for the elevator. I'm counting on you, Luigi. Counting on me. Okay, there's really um, not much to look at in here at the moment, so we'll come back. I was really hoping that we would get that other ability, but I guess not yet. Um... So yeah, we've got a little, at least one little mission here now. So we're making progress. Uh, we saved EGAT at least. We've still got, I forget how many toads total there are, maybe three. And then of course, Mario and Peach. So yeah, guys, that's the intro to Luigi's Mansion. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really excited for this series. I know I played it last year, but honestly, like I said, <gasps> hold on, have I had this the whole time? If I do, I'm truly sorry. I thought that he had to give me this ability, the plunger. I didn't realize I had that. Okay, well, now I know that we can do a few things that I missed along the way. So we'll do that next episode when we go and install his little gadget into the elevator. I don't really remember what exactly that was for. But we'll find out. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.